Hey guys, it's Saturday. We had a late start to our day. It is um, beautiful out, the weather, but it's a little chilly today in the 60s and going down to the 50s tonight. And so, yeah, we're dressed a little bit warmer today. But anyway, um, I am pretty achy from yesterday. Oh my gosh, my arms and just my whole body's aching. Kind of forgot what it was like to do workouts like that, even though in basketball that's not really like a huge workout, it's just a little shooting around. But when you haven't done it in a while, you think you could just get back on the court and do it. And uh, it took us about an hour combined to get 65 shots yesterday. So um, a bit out of shape, or maybe way out of shape. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're just gonna run a few errands. We have some things to do, and we'll see you guys later. Guys, I was just sitting in the parking lot waiting for Azaria for a minute. And I was just thinking, like, um, nowadays there may not be many crazy, exciting things going on with this pandemic. But um, just being here and being alive is a blessing. I was just looking how beautiful the sun is and the trees and the sky. Um, there's so much to enjoy in this life. So uh, I hope you guys are having a happy Saturday. And... Uh, Rosario just made me even more happy <laughs> with a little at me meal. My appetite's not too good, so I'm looking forward to having a little bit of nuggets and happy some meal fries. Time. Thank you. <laughs> delivering smiles and a, and a game. Thank you for delivering <laughs> me some smiles today. So far, the errands are going good. We had to pick up some meds from the pharmacy. Um, I ordered one of my meds the other day, but they didn't have it. Like, it didn't go through, I guess, for refill. So, um, they just gave me what they had. They only had eight pills, which is good for two days for me. And, um, <clears throat> they'll get the rest of them in on Monday, God willing. So, that should, yeah, that should put us where we have to be at. Um, we got some birthday cards because my mom's 60th is on October 13th and Rosario's dad's 70th is on October 7th so we wanted to get some cards and we're just getting some a couple of gifts for Rosario's dad now and I ordered some stuff for my mom online so uh, usually we wait till last minute to get these things but it's really nice just to be a little bit ahead and so yeah we're just uh, finishing up some errands I'll probably I'm thinking since we have a little more energy than we did earlier, we'll do like an hour of Uber, an hour and a half, get some deliveries in, make some extra cash while we could, um, especially that there's really not much we can do um, tonight, even though it's Saturday, but still with us having to be careful with this pandemic, um, it's kind of hard. We can't really eat out at places and stuff. Um, it's not too, too cold, but it's 58 degrees right now, so it's a little bit too cold for me to sit outside. Um, and so the spacing here where we live, things are kind of cluttered a bit. It's New York, nothing is spaced out. So we're gonna probably do that for the night and then still get home decently early and just relax and maybe watch some TV or a movie. I don't know what we want for dinner yet. I was thinking maybe making some uh, ground beef and tacos but I'll see if we're in the mood for them. Uh, and that's really it. Here comes Rosario, so we'll see you guys later. Hi guys, it's 10.30. We just finished doing about like six, seven deliveries. Um, so that was good, not too bad, but um, we're really hungry. So we're grabbing some Japanese food. I got a soup, a salad, and a shrimp shumai, which is like shrimp, little shrimp dumplings, kinda. And Rosario got two rolls. I think he got a chicken tempura and a shrimp tempura. So we're gonna eat in the car. Um, I'm enjoying my heated seat on right now. It feels really good because um, it's 55 degrees out. So the heated seat feels really good. And so, uh, yeah, I'm excited to have our food. They told us five minutes because we're closing in, you know, I guess like five, 10 minutes. So. Our food should be nice and hot. He just went in to get it. Shrimp shumai. I told you guys they like little dumplings with shrimp inside. And that dipping sauce is delicious with the carrots on the side. Yum. Delicious. Here they are. Piping hot shrimp shumai. 
I like biting into it and then dipping it so that way it absorbs Nothing them. Nothing like getting them when they're like really hot. Yeah, once when you have cold, them cold. It's like, ugh. yeah. But you get like, if you can get them hot, you're in good shape. Guys, here's my Connie salad. And he's got some rolls there, yum. And my soup is up on the dashboard. I'll have it in a little bit. All right, guys, I just finished taking my pills. We are going to get to sleep. I have a migraine, so I also took some headache meds with my bedtime pills. And um, I'm using the Nerivio device. Uh, if you guys never saw it before, it's under my shirt right now, so it's kind of hard to show. But it's pretty much an electric uh, stim. Excuse me, electric stim pads that help with migraines. And so it's a 45 minute session. And I'm going to put it on and see um, if it helps. So that's about it. We're going to get to sleep. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great night and a great rest of your weekend. But as you guys can see, I'm in my little couch here, all snuggled up, ready for bed. Mom and Dad are going to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep too now. But um, I might be awake in the dark with my eyes just staring at them because I admire them and love them so much. But. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say goodnight now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, happy Sunday. What? I'm just changing my insulin pump here. So, um, I'm due to change the site, which is done every three days. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just drawing up the insulin here. And then what I do next is I fill the cartridge. Then the cartridge goes into the pump, and we uh, prime it. And then um, we put the needle in my uh, body somewhere, wherever there's enough fat. My most exciting part of the day, getting the bubbles out. Guys, happy Sunday again. Jackson thinks he could get the squirrel up in the tree. Um, yeah, no. Jackson, sorry, but like Daddy said, you're a little bit too small, and you do jump high, but not high enough to get that squirrel. So let's leave him alone and go on our evening walk. Anyway, guys, so I changed my insulin pump site, which means I had to put in a new needle. I was showing you guys and explaining that, and I put the needle in, and I pretty much, like, screamed because it hurt every single time I moved. I can't explain it. Even if you just touched around it, it, like stung and this thing just like penetrates your whole leg so i changed it now to my side again the opposite side of where i was and that's stinging too and burning but um it's kind of bearable so i'll leave it for now and uh we're just enjoying our walk it is actually really beautiful out it feels like the fall has like really hit now it's so nice um we do love summer and everything, but sometimes the heat just gets to me too much and gives me headaches. So this type of weather is just perfect. And you know, every year during this time, especially last year as well, I struggle with being able to breathe due to allergy starting and just change in weather. And I always need IVs and I get an infection. And so thank God Trikafta for now, as of the moment has turned that all around and wow, I can breathe. It's so amazing. So I'm going to use my lungs to my full capacity right now and just enjoy this walk and, you know, get to hang out with the boys over here. And after this, we're going to go up by my mother's and eat something. Uh, I'm going to have some pasta and Rosario wanted some leftover orange chicken that my mother made. So we're kind of hungry. So that'll be nice. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Earlier that was dinner for my mom. I had some pasta, but it was lunch for me. Um, my appetite hasn't been too good. I lost a little weight, but I don't know why I'm craving homemade chicken noodle soup. So that's what I'm making right now. It's 10.30 at night. We just finished doing some Uber about a half hour ago. And so we never did Sunday nights before. But um, it wasn't bad. It was actually, we actually really enjoyed it. 
we stayed local thank god we got waters local um so it was nice to just stay in our neighborhood and uh not go too far so i'm just cutting some celery which i'm sure you guys could already tell i'm just gonna do some celery onion um and uh what is it called carrots but as you guys already know if you watched in the past i don't like putting chicken all the time in the soup i don't know why um so just depends sometimes i do like putting chicken but tonight it's another night of like no chicken in the soup even though it's chicken soup because it's chicken soup flavor with the broth but i've just been very picky lately as to what i'll eat you know like if i make something that i'm really not in the mood for i'll just kind of look at it and just say okay i'm not that hungry and just pass it up so that's another uh issue of mine as i'm cutting these i got some chest pain going on i think like by my pec area over here i think i'm pretty sore from doing those uh basketball shots it was a, a pretty big workout for not working out in a long time i'm just gonna grab a pot It was in the dream board. I thought it was in the, uh, what is it called? The cabinet, but this pot gets used like almost every day, numerous times a day. We love this one. I still keep telling myself that I'm gonna get like a medium sized pot in between like my big sauce pot and this one, but I still haven't gotten around to that. I keep forgetting to look online or to go look in person and whatever. So. We'll see. Next up is some carrots, and then last is the onions. If you guys didn't know, people with CF kind of have to be careful when cutting onions and touching onions because they carry, um, they can have a bacteria on them, which is uh, kind of deadly to those with CF. It's a uh, Burkholderia cepacea, B. cepacea, and so it can be carried on rotten onions. <clears throat> and so you just have to make sure that your onions aren't rotted or else, um, yeah, you have that risk. So I'm just going to cut some carrots. Jackson loves carrots, so I got to see where he went so I could give him a couple of carrots, a couple of pieces, I should say. And that's really it. I'm going to finish making the soup and cutting everything up, and I guess I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, here's our chicken soup. <clears throat> Just finished making it about an hour to make, which was good. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, just some chicken broth with um, onions, celery, carrots, and pasta. Nice. So I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. We enjoyed our dinner. I'm just up a little bit longer. Rosario and Jackson are sleeping. I'm going to be editing my book a little bit. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm writing a book about my life. And so... um. I'm just in the editing process of the first book and uh, God willing, we'll get that published and then there'll be some more to come. We'll see, but I'm gonna do some editing. So hopefully the sooner I finish, the sooner I can uh, submit it to see uh, if we get it published or not. And I think we have a good shot getting it published. I really do, I really believe in it working out. So anyway. I'm going to do some of that, take some pills. I have something for my fat with Tricafta, and I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, I just finished cleaning the kitchen up and stuff. And um, earlier before I was putting away all the clothes from the laundry, and my sugar dropped really quick. And then before, again, it dropped. So I'm going to give up on the cleaning right now and just sit and relax and do what I have to do. And then tomorrow I'll uh, get to the bathroom. And get that cleaning done so thank you guys for watching i will see you tomorrow sometime god willing and uh have a great night and i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend